you know, my feelings along with the nuts and bolts combined tells me, you know, of a real big picture going on here that's being hidden from us all. I need to ask you, Alejandro, because you've been around the world. What, what is your perspective on what's going on? Is there something culminating? What, where does your intuition leave you on this whole subject? My intuition leads me, and I like it the way Nick Pope puts it. Um, of course, people figure him a very conservative person, but he really does have an open mind. And, and I think he's right when he says, this is an event-led phenomenon. And it really is. And what that means is, you know, events such as Chicago O'Hare or Stephenville or uh, Roswell or Phoenix Lights or or Rendlesham Forest. What that means is the people leading this are are not human. That uh, (laughs) it's, or, you know, it's whatever, whoever is, is piloting these UFOs, they're the ones who are really leading this field and and our um, observation of them. And, uh, you know, some of us uh, who have done more research have a little bit more information uh, because we know of some of the research that's been done that the general public really doesn't know about. But really the overall phenomena and the big things happening, people do know about. And I think it is events-led. I think that uh, uh, that might not be a bad thing, that um, whatever is interacting with us has a plan and a protocol Mm. and they're working through that protocol and things will continue to um, escalate or events will become larger and larger as time goes on. Does that mean, you know, the big events where it's undeniable are around the corner? Are they five years? Are they 10 years? That's difficult to say, but I, I kind of think, you know, Humans are a part of nature. We're all natural. We're 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 from we're uh, a being on the planet, an animal that does what it does. And uh, I think that this isn't the first time that uh, this has happened. It's probably this isn't their first rodeo. You know, where they first time they've had to go to a planet and and use these protocols to bring this planet from uh, a these intelligence that are landlocked to uh, a community that is going to become a kind of a galactic community or part of the the, the galactic community out there. And uh, we're going through that process now, and it could be that some civilizations don't make it. They destroy themselves before they're able to enjoy that. Um, or it could be that uh, the people visiting us don't allow these civilizations to de- destroy themselves before they become part of the greater community. We'll have to wait and see, but either way, it's exciting. It's extremely exciting, and we're, I think we're in a great spot to be able to observe this, those of us who have our eyes open enough to be able to take a look. And I'm excited to be uh, you know, uh, someone able to see, and I hope you know, I, that's a big goal is to get others to be open to this and to understand this incredible position we're in, an incredible uh, phenomena that we share. This and really, things are so much more magical and and wondrous than than most people realize. And I think it's exciting to to be open to that and to um, to observe what's going on. Exactamundo. What? What do you do to follow that? It's exactly it's perfect. Well put, Alejandro. I totally agree well, with you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> um, listen, I, I'm going to let you go. I know you're busy. You got the big com- Congress coming up uh, February 23rd to 27th. You're busy with the Open Minds Radio, the big man on the radio, and the magazine. Huge guy, a uh, real hero in my books, my friend. And I want to thank you a lot for being on Atlantic Canada's only paranormal radio broadcast, The Unified Field. Well, thank you so much, and, uh, you know, thanks for putting up with them, babysitting some chihuahuas, so a couple of them got <laughs> excited in the background there, but uh, yeah, but uh, they're just excited as well. I want to thank you, too, for making the time for me. I know it's hard. You're a busy guy. Thanks a lot, man. No problem. Thank you. All right. Take care, Alejandro. All right. You, too. Bye-bye. Unified Field Radio.
You've been listening to The Unified Field. Be sure to tune in to The Mothership CKDU for other fine programming. Check us out on iTunes, Blog Talk, YouTube, MySpace, Blueberry, and on Facebook. For questions, feedback, comments, show ideas, or anything else, contact us directly at unifiedfieldradio at gmail.com.